Hello, I have Penny here. I'd like to discuss some of Penny's training, and the first thing I'd like to talk about is how Penny is learning to wait at a doorway. So I don't want Penny to enter or exit any doorway without an invitation to do so. That's obviously for her safety. So when I get ready to enter this room, I'm going to turn to Penny. I'm gonna make my hand like a traffic cop. I'm gonna tell her, Penny, wait. I'm gonna be prepared to block her with my foot if I need to. Okay, good girl, come on in. When she's waiting politely, I'm gonna invite Penny in. Then I have some like, ah, items on the ground that I don't want Penny to have. You saw she came over and she put her nose on that slipper. She heard the noise, which means no or stop to her, and she immediately retreated. And that's what I'm gonna tell her, good girl, Penny, you did exactly the right thing and rewarded with something she can have, affection and a dog toy. Now, if Penny continue to go after that slipper or any of the items that we have on the ground, I can increase the intensity of that noise, which means no or stop to Penny first. And then if Penny still wasn't listening, that would be when I'd take my two fingers and I'd give her a little poke on the side of the neck. That little poke simulates a bite like a mother might do with an unruly puppy, but Penny says, oh, I've got it. I'm going to be the happiest girl on the planet. Wag my tail, get a good girl, Penny. A job very well done. Good puppy.